Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. There are three sections to the lighthouse. The first section, the window, accounts for more than half of the book. We meet all of the characters in this section and become entangled in the web of relationships at Ramsey's summer home. We see a day unfold with the promise of a trip to the lighthouse, which never occurs, creating underlying tension throughout the day. As the day progresses, we see each of the characters from various angles. Each character's private thoughts are recorded, as are the responses and interpretations of other characters to his or her actions. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey's relationship is highlighted in this first section, as are their distinct personalities, namely Mr. Ramsey's eccentricities and Mrs. Ramsey's struggle to achieve harmony. Other characters are primarily seen through their interactions with the Ramseys. We are looking through a window at the characters in this drama. We get inside their heads by hearing their thoughts as they happen. The day goes by. Mr. Ramsey goes for walks and thinks about how he can go beyond Q. Mrs. Ramsey flits around her guests, tending to their needs. She tells her son a story. The children frolic and misbehave. Mrs. Ramsey encourages Minta Doyle, Paul Rayleigh, Lily Briscoe, and William Banks to date. Dinner becomes a special occasion. The buff and daub is perfectly prepared, and spirits are high, capped off with poetry, and all the lives we've ever lived and all the lives to come are full of trees and changing leaves. The children have been put to bed. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey sit reading, he rediscovering Sir Walter Scott, she discovering a sonnet titled, Odds and Ends of the Day Stuck to This Magnet. Their feelings for each other, bruised and scattered by the day, resurface. There is a sense of fulfillment. Wolf takes a completely different approach in the second section, Time Passes. An omniscient narrator dramatizes the house's decay over time in this section. Mrs. Ramsey has died, Andrew has been killed in the war, and Prue has died in childbirth. The abandoned house appears to be haunted. Nature reigns supreme in this section. The dark, rain, and wind have now taken up residence in the house. Mrs. McNabb, the housekeeper, is the only person we meet in this section. She serves as a weather vane. She recalls Mrs. Ramsey and the mood of the house in the past. The final section, The Lighthouse, takes place ten years after the beginning of the book. Lily Briscoe is the focal point of this section. The novel concludes with her struggle to make sense of everything, the house, the family, her confused perceptions. Lily has a vision, which she completes at the end. Mr. Ramsey remains brusque and demanding, but he does eventually accompany James and Cam to the lighthouse, even complimenting James on his sailing. It confirmed some obscure feeling of his about his own character, James says of reaching the lighthouse. The journey, which may represent life's journey, has been long and difficult, but ultimately rewarding. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.